Up here, it's clear. Three mile final, full stop, runway 32. Simon Arm Traffic, RV6, call Sula Victor Delta on the main apron, uh, taxiing Alpha 2, hold short, runway 1432. It'll be a northbound departure. Any traffic in the circuit? Attic, Ripper Borski checks traffic uh, taxiing out just on final, full stop, 32. Okay, you exiting at Alpha? Ah, uh, that's affirmative. Okay, I'll uh, just stay on the apron here, give you some room. So, I'm just holding short here, waiting for an airplane that's on final. So, I'll do my pre takeoff checklist. Canopy is uh, closed and locked, harness is secure, trim is set to neutral, fuel is on the fullest tank, they're both full. Reminds me. Nope. And no flaps required, so flaps going up. Mixture all set, putting in, uh, going into the runway. Seven arm traffic RV6, call through the Victor Delta now taxing Alpha to the. Uh, Runway, it'll be a runway 14 departure with a left turn out northbound uh, back towards Shushwap and on to Kamloops. You're going out 14 or 32? I'll do 14, make it quick. Okay, I'll wait for you. Uh, oh, 14, yeah, I'll follow you. 14, sorry. Okay, landing light on, fuel pump on, all the lights are on, make sure to full rich. Time up is already recorded. I'm driving so the good golf will be roller golf taking position on uh, one four. Traffic RV6 calls to the Victor Delta off runway 14, the left turn now towards uh, Shushwap Lake. And some of traffic, Seneca Golf, 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 Golf uh, rolling 14, southbound for Burton. Traffic uh, north of Salmon Arm, RV6 Golf Sula Victor Delta just off Salmon Arm. Level at 4,000 feet uh, south of Shushwap Lake and Sorrento and northbound. And I'll be following the highway towards Kamloops. Golf Sula Victor Delta. Before I get too far, I'm going to switch fuel tanks because both tanks are quite full right now.
1267 traffic vicinity of Chase, RV6 call to the Victor Delta is uh, just uh, overhead the uh, town of Chase and uh, southbound uh, following the highway towards Kamloops at 4,500 feet. Call to the Victor Delta. Texting and flying. What would the police think? No, oh, and it uh, looks like it, just a few knot head tailwind, rather, on my way out to Salmon Arm. Looks like I got a just a few knot tailwind. Level of 4,500 feet, indicating 140. Seven knots or so. The box says I'm doing 153 true and grounding 135. That's at 2350 RPM, burning 8 gallons per hour. One thing that I love about the RV6 is it's so efficient. It only has two seats, so it meets 99% of my mission, but at uh, 8 gallons an hour for 150 knots over the ground, you really can't beat it. There's not much else out there that'll do it. But I've seen all kinds of numbers that RV6s are capable of anywhere from, oh, I don't know, 140 knots to 170. Um, I'm not sure what I would have to, well, with a fixed pitch propeller, I guess that's that's part of the difference, but uh, for me to see 170 knots, I would have to probably uh, fire wallet and, uh, you know, 2550, 2570 uh, RPM, burning probably 10 to 11 gallons per hour, give or take. Move from the Cherokee 140 into this airplane. It had an 0320 uh, fixed pitch and burned about eight gallons per hour. And on a good day, I could do 105 knots, 110 maybe. But more often than not, it was uh, 95 to 100. Um, so switching to something a whole lot slicker and cleaner, you get there a whole lot faster and it better miles per gallon. Definitely getting some uh, snow showers off to my south here now. And the public forecast for Kamloops today did call for a chance of snow uh, for the evening. But it looks like it's, uh, it's getting closer. Now that said, it's been unseasonably mild. Uh, I think when I departed here an hour ago, it was 9 degrees Celsius on the ground. And for uh, February 2nd, that's unheard of. So, just coming up on 20 miles to Kamloops. So, make my first call. Kamloops Radio, RV6 call, Zulu Victor Delta. RV6 call, Zulu Victor Delta, Kamloops Radio. Yeah, Zulu Victor Delta is uh, 20 miles to the east, inbound full stop. Zulu Victor Delta, uh, runway 27, wind 260 at 5, altimeter 2965, traffic about 6.5 miles to the east, eastbound. The Piper Cup, and they were down around uh, 2,000 feet. Hey, Zilla Victor Delta, check that. I'll be watching for the traffic and uh, runway 27. Zilla Victor Delta, Roger, runway 27. Squawk right in. Zilla Victor Delta, Roger, right in. Roger. Sierra Kilo, this is down up here in the north round. Thanks for your help. Sierra Kilo, Roger. Okay, I'll show you this test, the 150 box, but it's off the angle. Sierra Kilo, Victor, Delta, Tango, Camel, Radio. 
Yeah, good afternoon, Camel Radio. Victor Del Tango is presently in front of the flying club on the south side. I'd like to depart for one single circuit. Victor Delta Tango, runway 27, wind 260 at 5, altimeter 29 or 65 traffic, 1 5 miles east for straight in, runway 27 is an RV6 estimating a 7 minutes. Okay, Victor Delta Tango, checks will be taxing for 27. Victor Delta Tango, Roger, runway 27, squawk 6774. 6774. Roger. Update just cross the mid right downwind for uh, full stop runway 27. We're going to follow you in as a Cessna 150. And go ahead, the uh, pirate. Okay, Roger, got the 150 in sight. And uh, from uh, all the way from Salmon Arm to uh, 13 miles to the east of Kamloops, it was perfectly smooth. And then from 13 miles to 10 miles east, uh, it was uh, moderate turbulence. I think I just flew underneath some pretty good uh, convective cells there. And then it's been uh, light from 10 miles. Do you have the RV6 in sight? Uh, negative, we're looking. Okay, just uh, inside MacArthur. Okay, we got him, uh, no conflict. Make this a good landing. My buddy Kip is uh, behind me. He'll be watching. Keep it score. Thank you, Roger. 